Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to the third video in our seven part tutorial series on how to use Google Docs. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you several formatting options for your page. This includes adding headers and footers, page numbering, having your text in multiple columns, and setting the background color of your page. Let's get started by looking at headers and footers. To insert a header, come to Insert, Headers and Footers, and select Header. Now you can insert your header. When you're done, simply click off your document. And as you can see, we have this is a header written at the top of each page. If you want to exclude the header on your first page, which may see be a title page, double click on the header and select different first page. Then under options, choose to remove the header. Now we have no header on our first page, but we still have the header on all subsequent pages. To insert a footer, come to insert, headers and footers, and come to footer. We have the same options here as before. To insert page numbering, come to insert, page numbers, and choose the style that you want. I'm going for this bottom option. I want the page numbering to start on the first page, like we have here. You can change the position by changing the alignment at the top here. For example, I can position it to the left. When you're done, simply click off it. You can see we've now got page numbering in our document. I've now added a title to my document and underneath it I want to insert a horizontal line. To do that, press enter and come to insert and choose horizontal line. As you can see, I've now inserted a horizontal line. I'm now going to format my text into columns. To do that, come to Format, Columns, and choose an appropriate number of columns. I'm going to choose two. And as we can see, my text has now been formatted into two columns. This text would look much neater if it all lined up on the right hand side. To do that, I'm going to make all of the text justified. Select all your text by pressing Ctrl A on your keyboard, then click Justify. And as you can see, our text all now lines up very neatly down the side of each column. Next, we're going to look at how to insert a page break. A page break is used to mark a point in your text where you want to end the page and start a new one. I'm going to do that at this point in my text. To insert a page break, I select the point in my text where I want to end the current page. Come to insert, break, and select a page break. We can now see that we've ended our page here and move the rest of the text down onto the next page. You could also insert a column break. For example, I might want to move these two lines onto the next column. To do that, again, select where in the text we want to insert a column break. Come to Insert, Break, and choose Column Break. And as you can see, we've now moved those few lines over into the next column. The next thing we're going to look at is line spacing. This is to change the distance between each line of text. I'm going to select this first paragraph. You should select all of the text that you want to change the spacing of and come to the line spacing option here. It's currently set to 1.15. I can make it double spaced by selecting double. And this has now made this paragraph double spaced. That means that you essentially have a blank line in between each line of text. 
I can make it smaller, say 1.5. Or I can reduce it down to single, which is even smaller than default. Now let's look at the formatting of our page. This includes changing the size of the margins, changing the paper type, changing the page orientation, and changing the page's background color. We do all of this in the same place. First, we're going to come to File and come to Page Setup. Here, we can adjust the margins. For example, I might want to make them smaller. You can adjust each margin individually. We can make our page landscape. We can change our paper size. For example, we could make it A3. And we can change our page color. For example, this light blue. When we're done, click OK. As you can see, our page has been made landscape, is now A3, the margin size has been decreased, and the background color has been made this light blue color. Finally, we're going to show you how to format the text on the page. This works in a very similar way to many other products that you might have used in the past. Select the text that you want to format, then you can change the size by choosing the size here, the font by selecting a font here. You can make the text bold, italic, underlined. You can choose to change the color of the text, for example, to make it white. And finally, we can add a background highlight to the text. For example, I'll give it a yellow highlight. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Also, make sure you check out the rest of the tutorials in this series on our channel. But for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye.